black lead goes in the comm slot, the red lead goes in the amp slot. Now I have to turn this to amps. I don't turn it to no volt anymore. So I turn it to amps. Now I'll break the lead, break the connection at the negative battery post, hook these in series. Thank you. Something drawing power, maybe? Something drawing power. So something that's on that I'm not aware of. So what are some examples of that? Trunk lights, mm -hmm. glove box lights, courtesy lights, uh, and, uh, the dashboard. Light, visor lights above your, on your fold down visors. Things that's on that you really don't realize they're on. So I should look for those things first, okay? If I don't find any of those things, then I start having to isolate the circuit into smaller segments. So how can I do that? Pull fuses, exactly. I can pull fuses one at a time, watching my load, and when the load goes away, I found at least the fuse that's causing my unwanted load, haven't I? Then I need to find out what that fuse powers up and see which, which circuit is affecting it. Okay? So that's how to do parasitic draw with this method and using an amp clamp. It's, it's more simple because you don't have to take the negative battery cable off. 